Welcome, welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is give you a market update as well as my plan for selling crypto. So I'm going to give you my current crypto strategy and I'm also going to give you my exit strategy. Keep in mind, Nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk. You're listening to a freaking moose. But on top of that, um, things can change as well. So assuming Bitcoin goes to 150K tomorrow, I may sell everything. I don't know. Um, if alts go up 9,000%, I'm going to sell. We don't know what's going to happen for sure. So keep that in mind. Guys, comment down below. What are your thoughts and opinions? What do you think will happen? I've got an idea of how I'm going to maneuver in this video. So let's dive into it. Let's have fun with the moose. So right now, um, the current market cap is 2.92 trillion. We're at all time highs. This is monumental. We've never seen this happen before. We have a pro crypto president in the United States. Um, the moose is Canadian, but he does keep an eye out for the rest of the world. Bitcoin is your global money, right? So the way I view Bitcoin really ultimately, again, today we are Tuesday, November 12th, 2024. Keep that in mind. Um, with Bitcoin, anybody can participate. And unlike gold, you have a finite supply of Bitcoin, 21 million. And every four years, the Bitcoin halving or halving, um, the amount of remaining Bitcoin gets reduced in half when you are mining Bitcoin. So your block rewards, instead of earning 50 Bitcoin, it's 25, then it's 12.5, then it's going to be 6.125, whatever it is, then it's 3.05, then it's going to be 0, 0.0, whatever. So the last Bitcoin that will ever be mined is not going to be for a while from now. Um, so it, 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 there's an exponential um scarcity there if you will so that's interesting you when you compare it to gold i think bitcoin in my opinion we're entering a world where we are going deeper into cell phones in fact maybe even further into it where who knows what's going to happen with vr etc but we are embracing technology as humans we are going to see ai thrive whether you like it or not i believe we are the cocoon to ai there's something about us intuitively that we're we're so ingrained in technology. So that's what I see. I mean, I'm wearing a crypto hardware wallet. Guys, use code Moose. That was a great segue. I got to use it. So this is a tangible wallet. You guys can pick up this. Use the link tree. I'll, I'll, I'll mention that at the end. Ultimately, what I want to get at here is Bitcoin is doing very well. It's better than gold, in my opinion. You guys can disagree. Go ahead. Try to move a hundred dollars worth of gold like melt it down go ahead go in your bedroom wherever you're at go melt it down send somebody specifically 94 dollars. whatever i think it's crazy i mean you have to secure it it's heavy it's cool i like gold i wish i had more i wish i had some but uh whatever so that's bitcoin and the reason i bring up bitcoin is because bitcoin is 60% of the market cap, roughly. I think it's 59% right now, 59.3. So as Bitcoin accumulates more market cap, as more dollars are put into Bitcoin, what you're going to see is a trickle down effect. So imagine a bucket. In the bucket, you got Bitcoin, there's a little hole at the bottom. Once the bucket starts getting really big, there's gonna be a hole that's created and that's going to flood liquidity from Bitcoin. It's going to go into the other tokens. You're already seeing that with Ethereum, Solana. So the top layer ones are going to be next. Solana is going to do well, in my opinion. Ethereum, Cardano, Tron. Um, you got you got a lot here. Sui's crushing it. That's the new stuff. So really, w when I think about it, it's the crypto market is the management of human emotion. It's very much human emotion. When people are scared, they sell and they shouldn't be selling. They should be accumulating the best stuff. Um, and there are projects like hashtag meld where, I mean, it's a risk to reward ratio thing, right? It's a low cap project that can happen. Um, but ultimately when people start buying, people start FOMOing in, right? Fear of missing out. And you're going to see that a lot in crypto. 
So just emotionally, when Bitcoin breaks 100,000, people are going to think, oh, it's never going back down. They're going to start buying. More people buy at 100,000 than they will at 40K when nobody's talking about Bitcoin. Um, so it's really attention and emotion. So keep that in mind. Um, so by the way, for me, and I don't know what it is for you, but that's part of this video, I guess. I'm talking about my strategy. So I was buying Bitcoin. Let's see. Let's give you a visual. Mostly ADA. I'm more of a Cardano um, slash layer one kind of guy. Bitcoin, it's great. And I'll talk about my strategy here. Let's go full screen. Let's go to all time. So Bitcoin down here, I was buying a little bit. So I got a little bit of Bitcoin around 30, 40 K USD, not a lot. Um, I mostly bought Cardano, which hasn't done as well as Bitcoin. Okay. So what I've learned, I'll throw it in here. I should have been picking up more Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is not going to move as much as alts, but it is something that is not going to go away compared to other projects. Um, in my opinion, right? So Bitcoin, again, it can crash, but it's not going to be as volatile and as violent as other projects. Bitcoin will most likely not go back down to 10K. If it crashes, it may go down to 40, 50K. If it crashed now, it could do that. Um, but it's such a higher market cap now where I think with the supply, etc., it's going to be your best bet. I've been learning that you need to be like 50, 70% Bitcoin. The rest have fun with, okay? Whereas I kind of had it opposite where I'm only like 20% Bitcoin. Big mistake on my part. So on the year, Bitcoin up 135%, even more like past a year, right? So if you bought Bitcoin and a lot of people bought Bitcoin here, in fact, people bought Bitcoin over here probably didn't sell last cycle. So a lot of people are in profits. They are going to dump on you. They are going to dump on you. I'm going to sell Bitcoin when it's at a certain point. Again, what is my strategy? I'm holding Bitcoin, holding ADA. Um, I'm picking up more Solana. I think Solana is going to go to 800 bucks, roughly. Um, but I'm eyeing out where I'm going to sell at. And the way this works is that you can convert to a stable token, right? Like USDC, Tether. That's a token that's pegged to the US dollar. So you can do that through your app, whatever it may be. Um, I use a lot of hardware wallets. So let's say, for example, um, I got some Solana on here. Guys, don't try to take it away from me. The moose can be violent. So you come up to me. It's going to be like Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Um, you know, it's, it's just going to be scary. It's going to be a scary event. You think you're going to get the, the, the ring off of the moose. And then you're going to find out like the hard way what's really up. So, you know, the moose is going to catch you, dude. Um, so don't get embarrassed twice. So guys, the point is here is that when you hold crypto, you have to have a plan to sell, okay? So just because things are going well, you think Bitcoin's gonna go to 250K, I believe that you should sell before that. You may be selling early, but it's better than selling too late. So my strategy, and I talked about, I gave you guys a Bitcoin price prediction in the last video, head over to Crypto Moose. Um, 250k Bitcoin. That's where I think we're going to go. So look at the rainbow chart, do your research, right? Have your own decision. If you think we're already at a top, then go ahead and sell. It also depends on when you got in. Um, for me in Cardano, I'm not going to sell Cardano till it goes near, um, till I'm in profit. So for me, Cardano basically has to get to a dollar, quite honestly, for me to be in profit. So I think a lot of people are also there. Um, but ultimately, I believe Cardano will do well over the long term. I'm also patient. So I'm willing to hold on to crypto for 30 years. I don't care. I really don't care. So if you're planning on getting in and out of crypto, it's going to be more difficult. So that's another part of it, right? Point is here, when Bitcoin gets to all-time highs, when we're in the sell zone, meaning when people are FOMOing in, it's Christmas or past Christmas, Everybody's starting to buy Bitcoin at a quarter mil. They never bought at 40K. You have to be out by then. That's my opinion. So let's assume Bitcoin's at all-time highs. Things are great. So hopefully we get to 88K during this video. Okay, Solana begins to pump. I'm crushing in Solana. Cardano's at three, four, five dollars, whatever it may be. 
Then what you do is you take your assets, you sell for either a stable token, and then you could also um, just sell through Tangem. So guys, use code Moose, pick up a Tangem. What you can do with the app is you can sell your tokens through the app, send it to your bank account. There's also crypto.com. So I have a crypto.com account. I can send tokens to my wallet and then I can have them ready to sell, right? Um, so you're probably gonna wanna use something like that, more of a centralized exchange or third party. Um, those are my recommendations. Those are the ones that I'm currently planning on using. Um, yeah, there's also MoonPay. So that would be another one. Maybe I'll even put it up here for you. So I believe you can sell through that, but have have things ready now. Set up your account. Like for me, I have a, for example, I have a crypto.com card. I'm just trying not to show any like private information on this. So I have a crypto.com card. And I can sell crypto and load up this card if I wanted to. Um, on top of this, you're also gonna have taxes. So depending on where you live, I'm Canadian, I'm gonna get screwed on this. So I don't wanna sell till I'm in profit. Um, a swap or whatever is going to be considered selling. So keep that in mind. Um, one strategy as well for me is that I do plan on holding my Bitcoin for the long run. I don't care if it goes to 250K down to 50, eventually to a million, that's fine. So you're gonna pay less taxes that way. Um, but guys, consult with a professional. I'm not no professional money advisor guy. Um, I mean, yeah, like you guys do what you gotta do. I'm just sharing with you kind of my thoughts and opinions and just being transparent as we are. Um, so right now I'm holding Bitcoin, Solana, ADA, Kopi, NVL, and they're pretty even between all those. Um, and yeah, that's basically the strategy. So guys, head over to Linktree, save 10% off using code Moose. Um, if you guys do go this way, not only can you protect your asset, you save 10%, but in the case that you do wanna sell your crypto, I believe it works very well. I haven't done it. Um, the other one is crypto.com. So use that. You guys can also use MoonPay. So I believe with MoonPay, you can buy and sell. There you go, buy, sell, swap. And this has been around for a while. If something changes in the future, it's possible that this this gets shut down. I don't think it will, but have it ready. Just guys, get ready now so that in three, four months you can sell or even a week from now, if something bad happens in the market, black swan, whatever it may be, you're ready to go. So. You guys understand what I'm getting at in this video. Um, comment down below. What are your thoughts and opinions? Cheers, everybody. I wish the best.